Good morning, Morning Manna family. We have just started the basic series and we're gonna be in it for some weeks. Much of what I'm discussing this week on living a surrendered life to God is found through the basics. It's this idea that we must prepare and the basics are foundational in our preparation. We spoke earlier this week about training for godliness and showing ourselves approved by studying the Word. Now there are a few more things I would like us to add as we prepare to live an abundant life in Christ. Philippians 4 tells us much about living a victorious life, the power of rejoicing in the Lord, the power of prayer and thanksgiving, the power of right thinking as we dwell on the right things, and how living a contentful life gives us the ability to face whatever hardships may come because of the empowerment of Christ in our lives. Something Paul mentions in this passage is rejoicing and thanksgiving, and I, I really believe the power of praise can work wonders in our life to rightly see God, and then to rightly see ourselves and others, to have the power to be strengthened by Him to live this life He's called us to live. See, to rightly put on the full armor of God, there are things we must know and believe if we're able to rightly apply this. This is where being prepared before we need it comes in. We need to understand how to rightly apply the blood of Jesus to our lives and put on the armor, and we need to do this before we need it so that when the time comes, we can act on it so we're prepared. When we need wisdom from the Lord, we want to have done the basics enough that we have faith we'll receive it from Him when we need it. This is learn in the preparation. And then as we put the preparation to action. See, if we stay ready, then it's not this process of getting ready. We're already there. Romans 12 tells us that our minds need to be renewed. We need to prepare. First Peter tells us to always be ready to make a defense for the hope we have in Christ, to stay ready. Second Peter 1 tells us of the qualities God is working in our lives so we can live fruitful lives. But in all of these passages, there's a part we play so that we can be prepared. See, this is true for our surrender. If we want to live a surrendered life, it doesn't just happen. We must prepare every day, submitting ourselves before Him so we can have our minds renewed, to be ready to make a defense, and to have these qualities that Christ is calling us to, to, to grow in us, to reveal Christ to those around us. We learn to live a surrendered life from being with Him, from doing the basics. So as a family, let's, let's commit to pressing into the basics, to spending time with God in His Word, in prayer, to be people who forgive one another and learn the power of fasting in our lives and receive God's grace to empower us to do just that. Man, family, I'm praying for you and really all of us as we take steps to deepen our surrender in Christ, as we get back to the basics together. God bless you. Love you.